Welcome back. Oh, I forgot to get my other cards out of the bag. I'm doing good for a start, but we'll get them there right beside me. Let's see if I can get it without dropping. Okay, get it and drop that book. Good deal. Alrighty. Oop, I zipped it back up on myself. I'm going to stall kinds of fun right now. Alright. Let's do it. And get a, hopefully all goes well, get the old ones out. It's the same one you've seen, but this is my original deck. It's got a lot of wear and tear on it. We're going to play with it tonight. This reading is for Miss Lonnie Biz, and it's about love. Let's see if I can find out Miss Lonnie. Hope everybody's doing all right this evening. This may, uh, this may be my last one for the evening, but I will be uploading more over to YouTube if you'd like to come subscribe. It's Ursula Snow. Just come on over and join me. so much. Alright, yep, that's here. Alright, we have the Four of Swords in reverse to start with there, Lonnie. Okay, Ooh. Knight of Swords in reverse. So something sitting still. A lot of that going on still right now. Next to everything going on out there. Let's see. I think you're the only one with me, Jennifer. Six of Cups in reverse. Oh, Ace of Wands. Come on, work with me, cards. Ooh. Okay, okay, fine. You win. And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. All right. Right now, uh, Lonnie, you've your happiness is out of sync. You're more or less um, whatever this is. You're gonna have to wait it out um, but there is change coming but it's it's not gonna happen anytime at this very moment anytime soon let's see let's, let's draw on this will of fortune for you see what we get so that kind of change is coming Hopefully all good things. Alright, cards. Hey girl, how are you? If I missed your birthday, Hope, happy birthday. I, I can't remember if I did greet you or not. I know you're Leo like me too. Derek! Let's see what this will. Ooh, ooh. A fortune. Come on, cards. Be nice. Okay, that's you. Ace of Cups, right side up. That's good. That's a good sign. Let's see. My cards are wanting to stick on me, but it happens. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. You be that way. Okay. Eight of Wands in reverse. <laughs> okay, okay. These cards are talking, buddy. They're on fire. And the two of pentacles right side up. So, Lonnie. Alright, you got the cup of love, but something's going on in here. A lot of people got that going on lately. or something going on right here. Um, in that heart chakra area. Because your happiness and your joy and your love's out of line. So... But underneath the change, there's balance. 
there's balance with this love that you have or that's coming to you. But there's there's the struggle right there, that internal struggle. And it's it's just kind of sitting there and hopefully coming in for a change. That's what we're gonna have to hope for. It's all any of us can do really is hope for that change to come to us or we have to take action to make it happen. Hey girl, let's see, all right. I am gonna draw on your Eight of Wands, all right? Let's see what I got. I can't believe how many readings I have done with these cards. Um, I know I've done over 80 readings with this deck, and it's in my hand. I can't wait to get new decks. Cannot wait. I'm so looking forward to it. Alright. Then we have the Seven of Cups. Hey, hey, girl. Let's see. The Empress. So that's all good size. Let's see what else we got. What do we have here? heard something. I had the card in my hand. I could feel it and I let it slide. That's not it. Okay. All right. Five of Pentacles in reverse. So there's something going on here with the self-worth department. You're not on the right road right now. I will, I will be just blunt and upfront about that, Lonnie. Whatever you're doing, you're gonna have to change direction. Let's see what this says real quick. I've been working so many decks, I'm having a hard time. Hey, 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 hey. Keeping up. Okay, uh, tell just Sheena, tell Justin to message me. I just have to have consent and I can put them on the list. They don't have to add me, I just need consent. Okay, let me pull this up real quick for you, Lonnie. Sorry about that. All right. All right. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. There's problem with with the heart chakra. There's problem with self worth here. There is also, and I just lost my thought. I'm doing good tonight. <laughs> soul work. There's soul work inside. It's got to be done. Okay, Lonnie. This this is about you. So. I'm not seeing, like, so far I'm not seeing a relationship pull up, but you did have, um, the couple love come up. Hey, Lewis. So, let's, um, we've also, within these cards, we have the heart chakra, which I call the soul. It's being penetrated there. So, and it's, your, your soul work, it's right between the cup of love and the two of pentacles, between your balance. So maybe it might be about getting the head straight. But then again, we have the Empress come up and she's she's one of my messengers. And she has a, looks like a flower orb. And it's, it's between her root chakra and her heart chakra sitting in there. So just remember, mental health can affect your overall health, your physical health even. It can make you very sick if things are out of line. So... I am going to scoop this up real quick, and let's see, what do I want to do here? Yeah, I'm going to keep using this deck. I'm going to draw on your Empress here, all right? I need coffee. love my coffee. I've been going through coffee way too quick. Sweetheart, let's see what we got. Come on. Keep thinking about getting that other deck back. Come on. Okay, it's you. Alright. Four of Cups in reverse. So, all your chakras are out of a line, at least from the heart down from your soul down you're out of alignment 
let's see. Princess of Cups, which is the Princess of Love. Cups are love. All right, thank you so much. I will put on the list after I get done with this. Let's see what else we got. So, Knight of Swords, Princess of Cups. So, so far, those are the only, um, like, energies that are on the board. So, we have a princess and we have a knight. So, we don't have any kings or queens sitting here. So, if this is a new relationship, it's, uh, it's moving a little slowly. You're getting, whoa, getting to know each other. My guards just decided to go <laughs> blow, blow in half. All right. Come here, you guys. I think I need a shot. I give up. <laughs> Side shuffle. All right. Get it together. All right. Let's see. Yep, hello. Okay. All right. So, we have strength in reverse. Hey, Matt. I forgot to tag you again. I give up. All right. I normally don't do this, but this flipped up with it. And I know it's yours. This time, it like, not always, but I'm following my gut. This is yours. Two of Wands came up with that strength card. They were stuck together. So... Well, that's masculine and feminine energy right there. That's that's big change coming. But I don't know what kind of change. This I don't know if this is gonna get off with it starting with the four swords. I don't know if this is gonna get off the ground. I really don't know what's going on here other than like I said, self worth and soul work on your end. As far as the other party involved, they have the Knight of Swords in reverse, but you also have the Ace of Wands, you have the Ace of Cups, and then you have two wands. So if we wanted to line that up and be cute about it, you know, like Ace, King, Queen, Jack kind of thing when we're dealing cards, it'd be Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and two of Wands. That's so like, boom, it's not a royal flush, but there's a lot of power set in there. So, all right, let's see. We'll see what season she is setting in. I want to think she's a fall card. Let's see. Okay. All right. Oh, she's actually summer. Wow. Okay. All right. This Princess of Cups is about you because this is like, go it says New Moon, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, this is about going within you. Exactly what I said, salt work. So, let's see if there's any pointers here I can throw out at you. Alright. All right, I was right. Yeah, this is about you going within you. This is about you helping yourself, Lonnie. Because that's what you, I mean, like, if that was right side up, that's a power card. That strength there, and it was in reverse. Look at that. That, that is beautiful. If you can figure out how to flip this right side up, if you can bail some water out of your boat, you've, you've got places to go here. But as far as a relationship, like, it's showing one, but it's not really showing what kind of energy it's in. Like I said, it could be new, or it's coming to you. It's, I don't think this is there yet, or it's, it's very, um, very new, or it's moving gradually, if that makes any sense. But I am going to, this Ace of Wands here. I'll check something with it. Come on. Alright. Once again, it's about you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we are in the sun. We are in the sun season, even though this is a spring. It says spiritual awakening. Everything I'm getting is about you. It's about soul work. Every bit of it. So... You need to find something that makes you happy. 
I think once you find that, a lot of these cards are going to start flipping right side up again. But here's the good news. You got the couple of sitting right here with the two of wands. That's, that's pretty powerful. Your two of pentacles is right side up. So things are in balance. It's just, it's going to move slow until you work on yourself. Let's draw an oracle card on this ace of wands and see what we can find out about you. See what we can see what might help you. I just realized I ain't got my hoop in. It happens. I need some more funky glasses. I want a pair of... I'd like to get a pair of clear ones. Just completely clear. But similar shape. I've always wanted a pair of them ever since I've seen the uh, remake of 13 Ghosts that they did back in the day. I love those glasses. But they were bigger, bulkier. I want, like, little rectangle like these. It'd be really snazzy. See what we got for you, Lonnie. Yep, there we go. Okay. Flash over. It's all in your head. I'm gonna read to you about that. Let's see what's going on. Got a feeling it's fear. Which I don't see a lot of fear. Then again, the strength of the universe, it may be fear that's holding you at bay here. So let's see what it says. That's been a while since I've read this one. 34. Be cool if I had all this memorized word for word, but I'm not 17 years old anymore. <laughs> all right. You're overthinking things. Friction and resistance in the circuits of your brain have now confused you into thinking the pain and tension is in the world around you when really it's all in your head. The good news is at the same time, all it takes is a spark of trust, a short circuit, resistance built up from friction with the world. When flashover appears, it's time to close your eyes and take a deep breath and recognize that the only thing standing in your way is you. Self-worth. This is, this is self-worth right here. And it's in reverse. You, you gotta find your journey. Because this is what you have waiting on you. If you get yourself straight. Alright. The light of a busy mind can be beautiful, but in order to reveal its best achievements, times of darkness and rest are essential. After all, you can only see the stars in the darkness. Let go of your worries and fears for a while without reservation. And let the world balance itself around you. The girl of Flashover is wary but realizes that she cannot continue in this way. The growing plump leaves around her cushion and comfort her as she slowly releases her mental grasp and relaxes her mind towards clear thought and profound insight. This is the ritual. <clears throat> Release the conflict. In lead pencil on a piece of paper, write all the conflicting cluttered thoughts that are flashing around in your head. Write as fast and as messes messily as you need to. It doesn't matter if the writing is legible illegible, excuse me. When you have purged as much as possible, slowly and methodically erase the writing with a large eraser. Collect the rubber shavings and toss them down the drain with running water or turn them into the earth. Burn the piece of paper to completely erase stress, fear, and tension and step into the rest of your life with a clear, relaxed mind. So this is, yep, this is about you. This is about you turning stuff around because, okay, where are they go? On your will of fortune, you had love. There's that emotional distress that's in your head. But look at that balance. It's right side up. Everything's in line. So, and there you are just laying there, holding yourself back. And there's no sense in that. No sense in it whatsoever. Of course, I'm guilty too. Most people are guilty. We procrastinate. We're human. Because we're afraid of what's going to happen next, or are we good enough, can we do it, you know, just all these things in our head. 
but journaling helps a lot or if you have a favorite place you like to walk take you a piece of paper and a pen and take it with you and go I know it's kind of warm out but just get out of your house if it's just for 10 minutes step out to your porch take your favorite cup of coffee your favorite shot of whiskey i don't recommend drinking and writing that might make you sad because it's a depressant but you know if you need to take a shot to, but do this all to your own discretion it's your health whatever helps you relax if you smoke smoke a cigarette do what you need to do but let it out find set aside time if it's 15 minutes if it's 30 set a time side for self-care because you're worth it honey and you got this. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.